Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So today we've got a couple things planned. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this convoy and we're going to hit it hard. Uh, we learned through um, nefarious means that this convoy is holding components to um, uh, that this convoy is holding components that we can use to fix our habit po habitat pods on our Argo. So we're going to hit this. Um, convoy and our other lance our pirate lance is actually protecting our rear um, because as we landed and we started to move um, these guys had detected us and spotted us so they're diverting another lance from a different area to come and help so since we've got a second lance ourselves we're going to drop them in to intercept that other lance to keep them off our backs while we take out this convoy so right now let's just do this convoy mission and get this done now we got our heavy lance here. Um, this is going to be roughly about a four skull mission. So I'm hoping that we can pick up some good salvage. Uh, there's a few heavy mechs that we're pretty close to completing right about now. Um, so it's going to be nice to be able to pick up some heavy mech parts, let's hope. Let's hope anyway. So, I mean, the other thing too is we might run into an assault mech here too at four skulls. There is that possibility. Really hoping though that we can get enough points for either a catapult, which means we can get rid of the trebuchet. If we get a cataract, we might be able to get rid of the hunchback. We'll see how it goes here. So they're going on turn one. My guess is because they were reserving. But we'll see how it goes. This is an 85 tonner, so there is an assault mech here. Could be a battle master, could be a Zeus, 90 ton vehicle. So we got looks like we hit the jackpot with potential salvage. So let's see here, let's reserve. So they've got some mediums, medium vehicles probably. Let's reserve again. Holding. Okay, so most of their stuff is going to be assault class it looks like. So we're going to move forward. Let's see if we can get into, yeah we can't. We're going to get into the mineral field here. Just in case someone gets a sensor lock on us that mineral field's going to help out a little bit. So this guy is, we don't know yet. Let's, we need Flatliner in here closer to figure that out. So Height really needs to start working on getting his uh, tactics up a little higher so we can figure out who these guys are. So this guy is what? 100 ton mech. 60 ton, 60 ton. 95 ton, and 80. So it looks like we may only have three escorts. I'm interested to see who that 100 tonner is. Might be an Atlas, King Crab, something along that line maybe. Okay, Vince Gitter. So we're going to have to really choose our targets here. Pull them down one at a time. We've got really good terrain advantage here. There's lots of hills and stuff that we can use. What we really need to do is make sure though, because the vehicles are 60 tonners, that um, we don't let them get too far ahead of us. So we may have to send our three medium mechs around this way while the Warhammer holds down whatever tries to come up this way. See how it goes though. So here comes the 100 tonner. 85 tonner moving up. Not moving very far. So let's get height. Let's actually start doing that. Let's... Those vehicles aren't moving very far now are they? So... Yeah let's do that. Let's move up this way. Uh, saw him there for a second, then he disappeared. Uh, Bane Skater, same idea. We are going to get as far over this way as we can. And I think what we'll do is we'll keep Flatliner and um, Ground Zero tied together here to take on whoever comes behind. I'm thinking that Bane Skater and Height should be able to take those vehicles out without a problem. Now we shouldn't be engaging in anything yet. I can't really sprint very far now, can I? Uh, let's stay in the trees just in case. On it. Okay, see what they do here. So, 80 ton vehicle staying on the road, 95 tonner staying on the road. 
So they're kind of stuck behind each other up there. They're not moving very fast, which is good. So it looks like this... Oh, Stalker. Okay. So probably Paravel Arm 20s. So I think we're on our turn, we're going to reserve everybody back to, and that's an Atlas. Samsonov? Is that what that is? Yeah, Samsonov. Double PPC and an AC-20 with triple plus, so we need to kill that guy fast. This guy is the two LRM-20 versions with two SRM-6s and medium lasers. Still don't know what this guy is yet. So, let's reserve. Affirmative, Commander. I want to see if we can get the Warhammer in to shoot anybody here. Uh... Hmm. So I can see the Atlas. But not a bad chance to hit either. I think I might. I think I'm going to reserve. I think I'm going to reserve my turn. I want to see what they plan on doing here. That stalker might move in and fire. We've all got pretty good... Um, yeah, I'm not going to click down. So let's get height going first. Um, with really great evasion, we could probably draw some fire away from everybody else from the Atlas. So we're going to move in on him. And we're going to fire everything. Uh, actually, I think we'll leave this one medium laser off. Just so we can work on keeping our heat down a little lower. Wow, that was uh, probably the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Ah, crap. TBM launcher. Commander. Damn it. Was that double in the leg? That was two hits in the leg. Damn it. I'm wounded. Ah, for crying out loud. That was two hits straight in the leg. Wait a minute, that would have had to have been three hits in the leg. That w oh, the ammo explosion. Right. Right. Ah. Uh. Okay. Well. Can't mess around anymore. Let's take this guy on. How do you like them apples? That guy was pretty darn accurate with the TBMs, I gotta say. Especially for being... Oh, was he in the mineral field? Ow. Gotta get in the mineral field now. I'm receiving you. Um, how does he see me when I can't see him? Oh, I see. That's how. Okay. Um, we're gonna be going before him anyway, so... Let's wait. No, we can't wait. We gotta move. Oh man! Can we get to a point where the Atlas can't see us? That's the left leg, right? Which means we gotta turn our right side. So let's do this. How much more can we get turned right to there? Got it, Commander. And we're gonna unload straight everything on the stalker. Yeah, investing in the dead fire ammo, definitely good. Another vehicle moving. Oh my god. I lost a weapon. Yeah, I saw that. What's up, boss? I need to get you in between. Probably here. Let's turn. We're going to put everything on that stalker. Let's fire everything. How is his torso doing? Down to 41. Let's just fire everything. Yeah, how you like me now? Hope we can salvage that. Okay, we can't let we can't just send one person in against the convoy. Alright, so... 
We need to stay out of range of that convoy. Just one PPC, eh? Alright. Not gonna argue with that. Ready to rock. Uh okay. Commander? How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? So we've got to really gotta consider now. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, I know you got reduced mobility, just relax. Offensive push on Samson Ab over here. We're gonna put it well, I don't know, headshot's pretty low, chance to hit. Hmm. But if we get lucky. Let's try it. Sprinkle him with a bit of damage. Not much. Okay, we got a head hit. Excellent. So that was good. Now, um, they've got two medium guys. Let's reserve and see what they do here. Or two heavy guys, I mean. <coughs> so they are going to move their vehicles. Okay, he doesn't appear to have any long range. Um, what are your orders? Let's give them a target. Let's give them height. We're going to move in here. Yeah, you think, Darius? You think? And we're going to open up with everything on this guy. I know he's got the AC-20, but... Um, we had to get in close. Poe heavy tank. Okay, so we can see a lot of these guys now. The question is... This guy's on Tos. If I get two PPC shots on that guy, I could kill him. Marsden is the one with the AC-10. Lots of armor. This guy has what? Light Gauss rifles. And ER mediums. This guy has Gauss Ultra-10. Yeesh, these are tough tanks. Okay, well, Need something, Chief? let's get to work. Um, the uh, Atlas is scary too. If we close here, we got really great chance to hit this tank. So let's do that. Moving out. And we're going to try and take this guy and get him out of the way. Affirmative. Okay, where do we hit now? Sides. Damn. Okay. Waiting for orders. Going to walk you in. Once again, we're going to shoot everything on this vehicle. I want him gone. Firing. Can't have him on our backside when we're going after the other vehicles here. So this guy's got what left? Not much. Oof. I think we're just up against too too much overwhelming firepower here. This may be a bailout mission. If we hadn't lost that leg at the very beginning, it would have been a different story. My old mama can hit harder than that. I know she can. Yeah, this guy's taking a lot of damage. But three mediums and a heavy against assaults, it's pretty tough. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be tough to hit. He's sitting in a mineral field, plus I've got evasion, so I'm a little closer. Yeah. Let's see what this Atlas does. It's really my fear my big fear now is the Atlas. He's gonna go for a melee. Look at him. Yikes, one forty. Where did that hit though? Armor blow through. Internal damage. And that's a knockdown. Damn it. Well, at least I still go before him. Damn it. I'm wounded. Yeah, I know. Relax. So, that was a torso hit. That's where the Gauss rifle is. That figures. Hmm. Um, so 
One or the other, eh? Let's do this. Okay, this vehicle needs to go. So why is that indirect versus the vehicle and not the map? I guess there's a little hill here. Um, it's fire on the mech. Okay, so structure is exposed. Heat sink destroyed. Reporting. Critical hit. Excellent. Standing by. Okay, so flatliner. Confirmed. Gonna stay behind here. Going after the vehicle. Firing everything. Okay, we got rid of the vehicle. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Okay, let's see what they do now. They got two heavy vehicles. Doesn't look like they can actually shoot us, which is good. So we're going to get Van Skater to stand up. And we're going to walk. Can't actually walk behind the Battlemaster, unfortunately. But I can move back. Question is, though, if I do move back and fire, I can sprint too. Okay, good. We're going to sprint back here and get the Warhammer in closer to the Atlas. Gonna fire straight on this guy. Gonna fire everything. Hope we hit. One laser hits. <clears throat> Gonna use the Warhammer hammer as a shield between the Atlas now. We still have a chance to kill those vehicles. Not as good as I would hope, but we still do. Okay, what's this guy? The Ontos Mark V. So, this is our main target. Actually, we're going to do an offensive push on him. Not on you. Uh, on him. And we're going to take a sh chance for a headshot. Firing a full salvo. And we got a head hit. I think I hit something good. I think that was a missile hit. Yeah, he's thinking twice now. Wow, that's a good AC-20. Hmm. Got lucky there. He's got 13 left in his head, 7 in his torso. Damn it! Ugh. We're getting punished here. Yeah, I saw it. I'm going down. I've lost ability. Wow, this is a really poor excuse for a mission. Uh, Commander, I'm hit. Yeah, I saw that. Um, yes, Commander. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it. I want that atlas. Screw you, buddy. You wanna play games? We can play games. Just need a knockdown on him now. Now, Height doesn't have multi target, so we're moving back here. And we'll leave off the medium lasers and just go with the ATMs. He's going down, that's the end of him. So the escorts are gone. Now what we need to do is focus on... Can't see anybody, which means hopefully they can't see us. So let's move back this way. Get a bit of stability back. And a brace. So what is our armor like on this guy now? 37 and 9. We have to be very, very careful. Um, Orders. Standing up. What do we got left here? 16 in the arm, 33 in the leg. And that's the right side. So we've got to turn our left side. Everything on the Ontos. Firing. Roger that. 
Okay, one down. Think if we can sneak behind these guys and get one on, only have only one of them see us at a time, I'm thinking we're going to be okay. Crap, he can see us. God, he's a good shot. Showing minor damage. Okay, height. What do we got going on with you? You're still good all over. So let's get you. Can we see anybody up here? can from here. Quick Let's move up here. This guy's got to go. He's been causing us too much problems and he's got almost no armor. So what can we fire on him? Can we get both medium with the plus one accuracy? Yes, we can. We're going to unload everything on him. So two of those hits and the ATM should finish him off. There we go. Okay. That problem's out of the way with. Reporting. One less vehicle. Now. Ready. Um, I'm hesitant to move in yet. Let's reserve and see what they do. Okay, good. I think they can probably only see height at this moment. So that's the Marsden. He's got pretty good armor. Um, Waiting for orders. I don't think I can I can direct fire from up here, but I'm just afraid to do this because if they get another line on me, they could really do some damage. But we got to get this done, so can't be afraid to do it. Let's do this. Let's leave off. Geez, which are we gonna leave off? Medium pulse laser. Taking the shot. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Excellent. One left. This could have been way worse than what it was. All I can say is thank goodness our uh, our pirate lance is protecting our flank. If we had to no worry about another lance, we'd be in a lot of trouble. So we could move our left side facing him. And we're going to fire with everything. Hope, let's hit, hope we hit with a Gauss rifle. We did. Excellent. All right, he can't actually do anything. Oh, what do you know? We actually have line of sight from here. He are medium. Taking the shot. Well, it would have been nice if you killed him, but leaving that up to height. Skipper. You got the speed. Nope. Right here. Stand and that should be it. Right. Thirty-three, fifty-three. And we can leave off one, two mediums, and the ATMs can all go. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was a tough fight. We didn't lose much, though. Alright, so that was actually not that bad. 169,000 we made. All that's going to go to repair, it looks like. So we lost a lower arm, medium and ER small, LRM ammo. We lost nothing on him. Nothing on him, and nothing on him. So we lost only a few components, which was good. Look at all this Atlas parts, man. One stalker part. Yeah. So we're definitely taking this AC-20. Plus 20 damage, times 2 stability damage. That's pretty damn good weapon. We're taking that guy. Uh, Pirate Goss, not that interested. Regular Goss, we've got. AC-10, we've got. Medium laser, plus one accuracy, evasion, ignore, and 50% crit. That's a possibility. I'm just going to drop it in there because we're going to replace a medium laser anyway. LM-20 with stability damage, plus 10 damage PPC, which we don't really need. We have better ones. Uh, TBM-15s, 60 damage, 9 tons. Not a bad launcher. It's pinpoint, too, which is nice. Maybe we'll take that. Uh, fusion cores, possibility, just gonna throw that in. Gyro, minus 10% damage, stability damage taken. That's kind of good for a frontline mech. Uh, death from above. Um, ooh, AC-20 precision ammo. I think we can buy that, though. But that's a, you know... It almost makes loading up an AC-20 worth it now. 
I mean, we could put an AC-20 on the Hunchback. Instead of the Heavy Goss. It's dropping the damage, but may overall increase the accuracy. I don't know. Hmm. It's only worth 300,000. Let's take a TBM-15. Yeah, let's go this. Well, I don't know. This is actually kind of nice. But it's better off having XL Gyro, I think, and having the extra three tons. We'll take a TBM-15. Not sure that we'll end up using one, but we may at some point. So let's go this route. Okay, so we got two Atlas parts and a Stalker part. Excellent. AC-10 Ultra. ER Medium. Medium Pulse. So we got some good salvage here. Another TBM-15 machine gun. A couple of other things. So, yeah. All right, so about 100,000 more than I thought it was going to be for repairs, but uh, I think for what we got, I think it was definitely worth it. Definitely going to have to get these guys repaired before the next mission. Um, but uh, let's uh, zip over and see how... Look at this, it's going to be right past our financial report. But uh, let's zip over and see how our Pirate Lance is doing um, down on the ground. So for Rogue Tech, this is it for right now, but please uh, check out the Pirate Lance mission to see how they were able to protect us from the reinforcements that were coming. Until next time, see you later.